Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you. Going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, if you are new to my channel here, how this works is I tend to sit quietly and meditate and I bring out some poetic words that I sort of share with you at the start. And then from then on, we sort of read the cards for what energies, because I'm an energy worker. And when I say energy worker, it means the readings can um, be directed to you or it can be directed to other people that are going to cross your energy fields this week. So with that said and done, let's just have a look at what came out in the poetic words for you this week, Scorpio. Loneliness starts to come creeping in, a friend you could do without. Losing your way a little and your mind is filled with doubt. Focus is something you cannot see when feeling so blind. Trying your best for others just consumes your mind. You're scared if you stop, your soul will be destroyed. Earth angels spread themselves so thin, something they cannot avoid. So yeah, Scorps, I just felt um, there's a tinge of loneliness coming in uh, this week. Like your old lonely friend was knocking on the door, which you could do without really. It felt like you were losing your way a little. Um, mind feeling consumed by doubts and worries that really haven't sort of manifested. Um, you can't quite understand it, what, why you're feeling like this anyway. You try and focus on things and you're struggling. Um, okay, you just feel like you're stumbling around uh, in, the, in the dark feeling blinded at the moment and it's saying like you're trying to deal with this by getting busy keeping yourself focused and helping other people um, and you you sit there thinking if I, if I stop this if I stop doing this okay uh, y your soul will be destroyed it's as though whoever I'm picking up with this week Scorps in order for you to sit in your own silence okay you couldn't cope with it that's why you're here there and everywhere visiting people keeping your mind occupied uh, because you're frightened to death um, of literally sitting there and doing nothing uh, it scares you and, and I'll say that because it's as though some of you I'm picking up with feel as though you are earth angels as in you're there to help others um, get through certain things and it's as though it's a label for you and you'd feel useless okay you would feel you wasn't worth anything if you wasn't helping others and I say this because uh, Scorpios can get a bit of a backlash off people who they do help and you know as much as they appreciate it on the other end of the scale it's as though they say to you you shouldn't be doing this for me, you should be doing things for yourself. But then they don't really understand that you can't be doing things for yourself because you have to survive by helping others. It's a vicious catch-22 scenario and only true Scorpios will uh, understand uh, where I'm coming from. And I say true Scorpios because the Scorpios and the Scorpios, okay? I'm on about the deep-rooted, full-on energy spectrum of a Scorpio that feels that they are an earth angel and they are here to help and serve others, okay? And it does become frustrating, but it's just something, it's like it comes as a second nature. Um, and I know some Scorpios get a, a hard rap for this, um, they get criticised, you do too much, you do too much, uh, you should be looking after yourself, okay? But they don't realise these people, they mean well by what they say, but they don't understand that deep within us, it's like we've got to serve, we've got a purpose, okay? It's very, very deep, but like I say, those who are on my sort of um, vibe and my sort of way of thinking will understand what I'm saying. So with that said and done, let's have a look what's coming out in the cards for you. So my lovely Scorpios, let's start shuffling the cards, shall we, and see what you need to be focusing on this week. So Spirit, what do Scorpio need to hear? What do they need to see? Please bring out the card on the table for me. And it's relaxation. We all like a bit of relaxation. So yeah, it's relaxation for you. Um, 
allow yourself to be lazy Scorpio it's okay to do nothing so it's sort of telling you to take a load off this week and it's a warning sign because I work with colour guys and she's sort of got a red robe here sorry for the nudity in these cards but there is some nudity in these oracle cards um so yeah it's sort of saying you need to just go with the flow take a load off um and allow things to start transforming because we've got the butterfly here naturally don't force an issue this week either i want to say to some of you don't force an issue but basically it's a warning sign to say if you don't take a load off if you don't slow yourself down then you are just going to collapse literally going to collapse um, and wear yourself out so let's just get a clarifier on that scorpio what else have we got for scorpio oh a beautiful card of blessed okay you may be feeling fragile and you may be feeling vulnerable but look at the wishes that are coming in there is a lot of wishes being granted for you scorpio and it's like to say to you spirit is sort of guiding you here there's a spiritual face in this card and it's sort of saying you are blessed you are protected by the universe just go with the flow don't over dramatize things don't force the issue because it will come in at the right time for you it's about divine timing for you so scorpio we also have they want me to pull two out here and we have education okay and magic prayer so the education card can mean that i also got the stalk as it can be attached to sort of legalities where you are sort of finalizing something um, you may be taking up thinking of taking up a study or taking on a new aspect of a job if you don't work then it, it could be a new hobby or interest but it's about educating yourself but i want to say for the majority of you it's educating yourself in order to fit in some kind of relaxation in your daily day grind I feel as soon as Scorpio puts their feet to the floor, they're just on the go, go, go. And it's like to say, you need to educate yourself here. Because if you carry on in that stance, then you are sort of going to burn yourself out. The magic prayer comes in with the education. Like to say, you can't see this. You can't see what is happening around you at the moment. But it's saying, you need to surrender to the energy that is harnessing itself to you at this moment in time. Look at the green in this card. It's sort of showing you here. The green is showing healing. And you are oblivious to this. You are oblivious to the fact that your body, your mind, your soul needs spiritual healing. Hence why... You need to educate yourself on your limits as well, okay? So this is sort of a wake-up call for you this week, Scorpio. It can also mean that if it's not you directly who needs the rest and recoup, it's somebody around you, hence why you are doing some study on what is causing them to suffer with their with their health at this moment in time so let's have a look what your inner psyche is feeling this week Scorps what else have we got for Scorpio this has come out so much this week for the star signs so your inner spirit is sort of coming out with the beauty and the beauty is sort of saying don't be overcritical on yourself. Don't think you've always got to look your best, okay? It is okay to take a day off. It's okay to um, not put a full face of makeup on, okay? Because I feel they're coming out with an energy of Scorpio always has to sort of put this face on, always has to make sure that they're looking, you know, the best at all times. And it's your inner self is saying, look, Beauty lies within and don't be self-critical. Don't be too critical. Don't be too judgmental on yourself. Okay. 
So let's have a look what the universe wants to harness in with that for you, Scorps. What else have we got for Scorpio? Oh gosh, and this has come out as well. We had it for Pisces and we've had it for Libra. And it's the hand of fate coming in. Okay. It's time to reset the compass. The alchemy is within you as well. There's only you who can change the processes that you're dealing with at this moment in time in order to get this back in your life. It's a slow down process for you. It's an education to learn, okay, to accept that, you know, you can take a load off. You don't have to be um, dressed up to the nines or made up to the nines 24-7, okay? It's fated healing as well coming in for you, Scorpio. I'm just going to get a clarifier on that. I feel like I just want to get an extra card out for you on the alchemy. It's about resetting the compass though. And it's message in a bottle. So some of you could be waiting for important information legally to come through. Okay. Hence why you can't rest at this moment. But... Some of you could have some worrying issues going on as well. But I want to say the universe is saying to you, don't let it consume you, okay? Because you can't see what's coming, but don't second guess what's coming either. But just know whatever is fated, whatever the outcome is, okay, it's meant to happen. But take a load off because I feel like you're going to get a good resolution here. Okay. So let's have a look at your animal spirit cards for this week. Didn't, that didn't want to go back in. Got one of the little midi flies again. They're a nuisance that time of year. So we have, wow alchemical sign of air and it's the bat and it's the alchemical sign of fire and it's the panther that is a I'm gone just get rid of that fly the bat energy is the outside energy around you okay it's going to come in fast like a bat out of hell the panther energy is a warning energy really of it's like your inner conscience battles itself it's like an inner conscience battle of one side of you saying I need to take a load off and then the other side of you is saying no no you've got to keep going you've got to keep pushing and it's sort of a battle between um, yourself with the panther energy. I'm just going to clarify those two cards. I want to say it's an energy of you didn't see this coming either. There's a warning sign with the red wings on the bat. You did not see this coming. And we've got spark. There's changes coming in around you, Scorpio, that are unexpected, that may bring a tinge of sadness to you. Some of you may get angry by this information because you didn't see it coming. Let's just get another card out for you. And we've got balancing act. There is something in these four cards, Scorps. I 
and I feel it's to do with a romantic side of things. Something tipping the balance here. Okay. It's like an energy of being left out, not considered. And this is what gets you angry. I feel it may be information that was withheld back from you by somebody. Hence the bat energy comes in. And it's like to say, why didn't you tell me about this? It's as though you expected one outcome to be faced with something totally out of context. And it brings a sad, uh, sort of a, uh, a tinge of sadness. Sort of plays on your heartstrings, Scorps. It's like to say being left high and dry when I look at the balancing act. I just feel it's some information that may have been hidden from you. It's some information that somebody was holding back and then have told you about it. And it's like it's saddened you to think, oh, I trusted you. I thought you could come and tell me anything. And it sort of makes you see them in a different light or see that situation in a different light. It's very cryptic, Scorpio. Let's have a look at what your spirit guides and angels want to bring out this week. Digging deep. And it's sexuality. Okay. Now when I look at the sexuality, it's about connection. About uh, two people sort of soul connected. Knowing that they could tell each other anything. Trust each other. Okay. And it says, an influx of sexual energy is coming your way. Embracing both the masculine and feminine aspects of the self creates wholeness it is safe for you to express your sexuality in whatever you choose provided you do it lovingly it can mean that some of you may have hidden your own sexuality and it comes out and there's just people around you then who get angry to the fact that you've had to bottle this up and share these um feelings within and so they get angry with you in a loving way if that makes sense but it also can mean that it's connection. Some of you could sense you've lost this connection with somebody because of them not being honest with you. So it depends how we're looking at it here and how it's resonating with those listening to this reading today. Let's just get another card from the fairy realms. And we've got daughter. The answer to your question involves your daughter. Now this could be a female around you who's going through this situation at the moment. It doesn't have to mean um, you directly. But a, a daughter is a feminine energy. So I just feel some of you have a daughter who may be going through this at the moment. Okay. It could be that you're entangled with somebody who has got children and there's an issue because of this. Maybe, you know, your partner's daughter is finding it hard to accept a breakup or hard to accept you coming into a relationship. It's that kind of an energy for some. But then we've pulled out winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realised in the winter months. But I also want to go with the winter as again you feel like you've been frozen out of some information that has been hidden from you. I just feel that um, the panther comes out because you get angry that you've been not told about something, some information has been held back, you've not seen the true picture as well. So, I'm going to pull out one of the magic cards for you, Scorpio, to end this reading. A 
left out in the cold. That's what they're telling me. You feel like you've been left out in the cold. And we have awakened spirit, a desire to change. If you remember at the start of this reading, it was about you needed to change your habits of getting in some relaxation. Okay, so it's sort of an awakened spirit to say, I need to change. It could be you're dealing with somebody around you who hasn't been honest. There's somebody around you who tries to change their habits, tries to change their addictions maybe, and they are struggling at the moment and that's why you know somebody could be hiding the fact and then it comes to a light and that's why you get angry or you said you were promising to do this and you haven't done it and it's that kind of an energy so yeah a lot going on this week um a lot to think about so don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs and until next time you take care of yourself bye then